I don't know if this is filming, but ah, I am back with part two with the mask. Um, today we are going to be felting. What you'll need for today's tutorial is felt, hot glue gun, scissors, and I think that's it. Anyway, yeah. Um, check the description for triggers. Um, and let's get into it. By the way, you can call me Star or Flick. So I have two pieces of felt right here. Um, I got them from Creatology. I just get them from Michaels. Um, but you can get felt anywhere. Some people like to use fabric as felt, but yeah. So today we're gonna be felting this guy. It's in. Oh my god! I just looked up how to pronounce it. Ibisian hound. I think so. Yeah, but please don't judge me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um. Yeah, we're going to be scissors incoming. Um, we're gonna be felting this guy today. So, yeah, let's get into it. But first, we're gonna plug in my hot glue gun and wait for it to warm up. Also, sorry if in like the first tutorial, um, it's in one of my playlists, um, or in my playlists, uh, where like I seem really tired and like not in the mood. But I'm more in the mood now because I'm hanging out with Sal tomorrow. So super excited. If you don't know who Sal is, Sa Salad. Sal is um they're basic they're bones. <sighs> um yeah, so hot glue gun is warming up. Um I'm gonna wait for that to warm up. Bad lighting ensues. So yeah. I'll Catch you later when it warms up. Okay, so we're gonna start planning our felt. And I'm going to teach you because felting a muzzle is so hard. I'm gonna teach you how I felt a muzzle personally. Um, also, I forgot to include, if you haven't watched part one, please watch part one unless you're just here for felting a mask. Which, yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna take some felt. Let me take the stickers off. I'm really sorry for like the, that's my necklaces. Okay, so now what I like to do is stretch the felt. This just gives you like better felt, I guess. Stretch it that way and then this way too. And you will see that that actually makes a difference. Also, what do you have for dinner? I had macaroni and cheese. It was so good. Um, you will see afterwards that it is like shaped oddly because it actually is stretched. So, yeah, you can stretch it as much as you like, as little as you like, or not stretch it at all. I just like doing it. So after you have your felt all stretched out, you're gonna wanna, um, match it up to the tip of the tips of the ears like so like you can see the tips of the ears are barely poking out of there and you're going to kind of mark where the muzzle starts with a pencil a pen sorry i have an itch um yeah just kind of loosely mark that out and then cut smaller smaller you take a few tries but you'll have something that looks like this and it should fit I'm actually really proud of that <laughs> um it should fit perfectly oh, muzzle so yeah so you're gonna take your hot glue gun i'm almost out of hot glue stick so we're gonna have another one right here and you're gonna wanna glue, you wanna glue where the muzzle starts. Yeah, I need a hot glue stick. So, 
Also, this is how I attach my hot glue sticks. I put it in there, push some hot glue out, put it on the end, and then stick it on the end of the hot glue stick. So yeah, you're gonna wanna... Oh, I'm not squeaky. And you're just gonna wanna... Oh, that's not a frame. <laughs> Just stick that on there. And you're good. Yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be a long, like, no editing clip because hockey is a fast process. So first thing, you're gonna flip the felt over and you're gonna wanna start from either side and just go in lines like that if you can see and just rub 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 yeah then you're gonna want to go to the nose bridge nose bridge is pretty hard just put a line like lines like so and smooth the felt upwards, not down. Don't go down. Yep. So, like that. It should be smooth. And then do the other cheek. And obviously, I've done this many, many times, so I can do it in under five minutes. But if this is your first time felting, I would not recommend doing this as fast as I am right now and just taking time. Absolutely. So then you're going to want to do the temples and you can just do a squiggle like so. And depending on how experiences, experienced you are, you can do bigger sections at a time. And then we have this entire forehead, and I'm just going to do one big stripe across the forehead. And if it is your first time felting, there are going to be wrinkles, I'm sorry to say. And then keep doing... So squeaky, by the way. Keep doing lines like so. Also, stretching your felt also helps with um, not getting any wrinkles. So now we're onto the ears. You're gonna do one, do one ear at a time. So you're gonna wanna do the middle of the ear first. So just put half of the middle of the ear just. Yeah, smear it around. And then you're gonna want to kind of do a squiggle on the ear and just flatten and spread it around. Yeah, like so. And then get into that forehead. Just do a little like, squiggle or zigzag or glob. And hot glue will dry underneath the felt and it leaves these weird little lines. So try and smooth it out immediately instead of just like pressing on it. So we're doing the same process over again. The other ear, squiggle, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna try and not get a wrinkle on this one. And yeah, you have a felted mask. It looks pretty nice. I'm gonna pause this so I don't waste too much time. So after you have like your felt um, like that, where are my scissors? You're gonna wanna cut, flip the mask around, and you're gonna wanna cut about an inch or like half an inch away. I know I should get fabric scissors. Um, I usually just borrow some from my mummy. Um, 
and you kind of just want to hack away until there's like an inch and I'm going to um, tell you special hacks for this middle part and like doing other stuff. Okay, so one of my biggest hacks for right around this area is just add one singular cut. I'm gonna do this off camera because it's really hard to do, but push my scissors to these ones, kitchen scissors. But anyway, you wanna, oh my God, it's still really hard. I would recommend fabric scissors just so you can, but like make a split right there so it can go into the um, mask and then into the ear so like easily like that so do that so now for this top part this is going to be an unedited clip right here so you're going to want to cut in with the elastic don't cut the elastic um you're going to want to cut inwards and stop right when your scissors like look like they're gonna chop the top of the mesh. Um, do that again on the other side. Um, and then just cut that off. So it leaves about an inch fabric to fold down. And yeah, that's the hack for that. And then for the rest of it, for um, round areas, just cut slits across the felt. Um, so yeah, do that and yeah. Okay, boom shakalaka, we've got the felted mask. Now, the eyes. So if you hold these up to a light, which I'm going to provide, you can see that You can see through them. That looks so weird. Okay, anyway, but, um, uh, so you can just cut a slit right in the middle, if you can see, and just hold it up to your light. I'm gonna put a light below, so I can see. This is also when having a light box comes in handy. Um, but you should have like a little slit um, cut from the top and from the bottom so it makes it look like like there's a little like four parts. And then you're gonna want to fold all of those down and glue those into the. Uh, Oh my god, inside of the mask. Uh, I explained that really badly, but I'll show you. So as you can see, the eye is completely open. But on the inside, it's like folded like so. So yeah, do that on the other side as well. I don't know if that was good or not, but here is the felted mask. But there's still more to this part. I know this is... The painting part is actually going to be like multiple parts because painting takes a while. Um, but we're going to felt the muzzle now, which is a little scary. It's a little shove on my tumblers, but um, it's actually pretty easy once you like figure it out. So yeah, let's get into it. I forgot something semi-important. Mesh. If you want to, this is a lot of mesh by the way. Um, <sighs> didn't mean to make that sound like flex but um if you want mesh you can buy some from joann's or michael's this i got from joann's it's flex fl flexible uh fabric mesh but you can also buy some really good high quality fursuit mesh on like Amazon or something. Um, that's what I want to get, but I'm gonna use all of this up first because it it's really good to paint on. You can see really well through it. Comes painted black, so it's not like eye strain because if you get eye mesh that is white, you have to paint it black, otherwise 
it'll cause really bad eye strain. Um, but I got my mesh from Michael's. It no, not Michael's, Joanne's. Um, it comes prepped black, like yeah. And like I said, it's like a fabricy, so it has like fabric strands in it. So yeah, um, that's the mesh. Um, the way you just glue it in. And I like to cut mine into eye shapes, but yeah, you just glue it in. So here's what the mesh looks like. You can see through it pretty well. I don't think I can do it really well, but um, yeah, add mesh if you want it. Mesh in, so now, yeah. Also, you don't have to add mesh. Some of my masks don't have mesh, some of them do, so yeah. Mask. I would say actually it's looking really good right now. I'm kind of honestly surprised. I when I, when I put on the muzzle, it was like looking like a little. But now that it's like felted and everything, it looks good. So I'm proud of myself. Okay, so how to felt a muzzle? It's really pretty easy once you get the hang of it and like have done it once or twice. But even if this is your first time doing it, if you've done the muzzle like I did, it's really easy to felt. Um, yes, certainly if you want to like get a big piece of felt and like felt the whole thing instead of like breaking it up, go for it. I wish I could be you. Um, but I don't personally have the bravery for that, and I, like, every time I try to do it, it looks pretty bad. So, yeah. So, we're just going to be doing this type, where you take your mask, take a piece of felt, put hot glue on it, just slap it on there. So, how you're going to do this, oh crap, um, how you're going to do this is you're going to put hot glue and just put stripes or squiggles across the top of this now. Like, you can do them on the side first, like so. Grab your mask, grab your felt. Since this EVA film is a little flimsier than I would have liked, um, have to be a little bit more careful with it. Also, this is kind of hard to be doing talking and wearing a mask while doing, so please don't mind if I sound like anxiety or like rushed or out of breath because my jaw hurts. Like, I haven't talked this long for this straight in a while. Like, yeah, that's why I don't think I could be a teacher, because, like, I've been chewing gum all day, and also, like, yeah, so, that's what it should look like. Yeah, um, so cut off the extra, save it, okay? It can actually be really useful for stuff, so, um, yeah. Again, so you're going to be not needing all of this felt, so you can cut a lot of it off. So once you've cut off a lot of it, you can just fold it in and just glue it in place there. So do that. Okay, so now that you've glued that on, it should look like this on the inside, kind of like glued in in place. So um, I thought I was filming, but you're going to cut off that excess and leave blank EVA foam snout. Remember that piece of felt that we saved earlier? Slap it on there. Don't worry about the excess. Just put hot glue right there and just another hot glue stick the excess off um so yeah you have the excess uh for the bottom you can mostly cut it off but just tuck it under um and just yeah just cut as close to the border as you can okay so this is kind of the finished result for like felting and adding adaptations and kind of mash and stuff that is definitely not enough or end of this series obviously that's pretty much it because 
the rest of this is just going to be like mask painting tips. I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint a is being hound, but I'm going to teach you ways I paint it. So that's probably going to take about two days for me to make. Maybe one. I'm not sure because I'm probably not going to be able to post tomorrow. I'll post shorts, but not long videos. But yeah, here is it so far. It's got pretty floppy ears. Cute. Um, snout. Oh, before we end this, make a tutorial real quick on how I make a EVA foam nose. So take a scrap or a brand new piece, it doesn't really matter. And um, you're gonna grab your pencil and just sketch out a big nose design, okay? Make it bigger than you would expect it. Of course it doesn't have to be like perfect, but you know, this is what it should look like depending on the breed that you're making. Um, put it out. Foam on my scissors. Um, kind of just cut it out, see how you think, what you think of it. And you can always change it. It's not like permanent. Um, it's very quiet because it's very supreme focus. And see, I made it too small because that just looks really odd. So we're gonna make it bigger. Nose glued on. Um, doesn't need to be super secure, but just glue it on the tip of the nose. Voila. I'm going to make a different nose, because this one makes it look really clunky. But yeah, that's how you make a nose. So yeah, thanks for watching this episode of making the mask and see you later peace out um have a good day love you peace